Pedro Cuevas from Royal City, Washington. I work with my dad. We grow cherries and apples. Uh, our company name is Rancho Cuevas. Uh, when we got started, I was very, very young. You know, I was seven, eight, nine years old. You know, and uh, we would we would be out working because we didn't have much. We didn't have uh, much to eat. We wouldn't have toys, so what else would we do is, was work. Uh, so I'd come in and help my dad and uh, change water, be on the four-wheeler, uh, move bends around on stuck bands, and drive the heister, drive the tractors, do anything that I was asked to do. Man, <clears throat> I remember the first time I jumped on a forklift. I was probably at seven, almost eight years old, and my dad's like, hey, I need you to, to move that bin right there. And well, I forgot to uh, drop down the forks all the way, and I went right through the apple and right through the bin. <laughs> So that was, I, I will never forget that after that. I mean, you only make that mistake once. So ever, ever since then, I, I learned to, the first thing to do is drop the forks. <laughs> well, it was never easy. It was never an easy thing to do. I was, you know, working day in, day out. It was hard. And me and my dad talked and he was just like, you know, what, what do you want to do, you know, besides this? And it's like, well, what do I know how to do? He said, like, well, you know how to do the orchard. So what, it, what is there to do that, that you, something you're very, very, very good at and know very well? And I was like, well, the orchard, you know, I mean, I was born and raised and I like it. I like doing it. And uh, he's like, well, he's like, what kind of job can you get doing that? And I was like, well, there's always there's always other jobs besides, you know, being a, an orchard manager. And He's like, well, what would you like to do? And I was like, well, I would like to ride around and pick up in a four-wheeler, you know, because I thought at, the, at that time, I thought that was, you know, what you did. But uh, so that's, that's, that's the reason why I was like, well, I'm going to go to school for that diploma to, to show that, you know, I'm, I'm a horticulturist. What gives me an advantage when I go to, up to a grower and start talking to them is um, knowing currently what's going on, uh, especially with soil, you know, soil uh, nutrients. That's a big thing going around right now, which back in the day, people would just, you know, say, hey, I got 40 pounds to the acre. That's what I need to spread. Instead of, you know, taking a soil sample, taking it to the soil lab and, and analyzing exactly what you need to spread at that certain area or um, also soil moisture, you know, that, that counts a lot because most of the time people don't realize that that's probably the biggest part where you're not getting volume. In, in a certain kind of fruit, especially like grapes. Yeah, a big thing, a big thing for me is, is pruning, uh, pruning systems and, and what they have. Uh, a lot of the time, um, you gotta base your pruning on, on sunlight, you know, getting the, the sunlight for, for the fruit. And most of the guys aren't doing that, or, you know, they'll, they'll pay their workers and the workers will do it without them going through. So I'll, I'll do that. Um, another big thing is deficiencies. You know, here in Royal City, we have a lot of caliche areas where there's, you know, there's deficiencies for, you know, potassium or any, anything like that. So you have to, you have to pull soil samples from that specific area to, to say, hey, this is what we need here, you know. Um, and we got a lot of sand as well. So taking care of water management is a big part. You know, you see that I've seen, uh, they're called drought spots on apples because people weren't managing their water systems right. First of all, is you gotta love what you do. If you're doing it just because for the money, it's, it's not there. You're not. You're never gonna find the end to it. If you love what you do, you're never gonna work a day in your life, right? So I mean, that that's the biggest thing I think for everybody. Um, not just doing it because you're getting a paycheck. And, and that's the way I saw it. That's the way I went into it. I love what I do, and and I don't have no regrets, you know. And if I if my friends ask me why I went into it, it's for that exact reason, you know, knowing that pretty much the science behind a tree is, is pretty awesome to me.